we're Ryan and Brittany. We're a 30-something couple with two pups who are about to start on an adventure of a lifetime. We're currently building a converted Sprinter van to live and travel out of in the United States. We sold our house, Ryan quit his corporate job, and now we're on our way to living the nomad life. In this week's video, we're installing the flooring as well as the insulation for the van. Brittany, I, was out of town this week, so it's Ryan flying solo with the pups. Will the floors get installed correctly? Do we pick the right insulation? You'll have to watch to find out. If you want to stay more up to date in our real-time adventures, follow us on Instagram at Life with the Lens. All right, let's get started. Alright, now it's time to start cutting strips of the foam to lay down in the ribs. So I'll be cutting strips of foam like that from that uh, sheet right there. And then uh, once I get a few of them, I'll use some uh, 3M90 adhesive spray and then make sure that they get stuck down real good. This is going to take a long time. This is going to be fun. It was taking a long time and I was sitting in the sun a lot so I decided to move stuff over, get the plywood out of the sun so it doesn't warp and then come in the garage and that way I don't get sunburned. <laughs> spray on both sides. Spray it on the floor, spray it on the insulation foam, and if you give it a couple minutes to halfway cure, like the directions say, it works great. Have a delivery. It's our fridge. Pay no attention to the ripped box. That was me just doing an inspection of the backside. There was a little bit of just a little bit of tear down here, so I wanted to make sure that it's good. It's a new day and I'm still cutting foam strips for the floor. It's going to take most of today probably. And then the next step up would be putting the next layer of foam on top and then plywood, uh, getting that cut to uh, cut to that template that you saw me trace the other day and then put that on top. Hopefully I can get as much of that done today as I can so I can get the dogs in the van tomorrow to take them to camp. So let's see how fast we can go. All 
so I'm out of adhesive spray and there's none at Home Depot, there's none at Lowe's, there's none at a local Ace. The second closest Walmart had two in stock, so I wanted to buy it online before running there and wasting time. So that way it's just ready, I know I have it, but it's not ready till two o'clock today, so I can't go around and get it just yet. That's about four hours away. So now what I'm gonna do is make sure, I'm just gonna spend some time cutting all the, uh, the rest of the strips to fit these last few corrugations. Get those all cut. So they're all cut. And now I just need to go pick up adhesive to glue them all down. And then, in the meantime, I have about 45 minutes before I'm going to leave. So I'm going to try to clean this stuff up, get set up for uh, getting ready to cut the templates for the foam that's going to rest over the top of this, and then the templates for the, um, for the plywood subfloor. All right, good morning, everyone. We've taken the dogs to camp so that we can get a lot of work done today. We were originally going to work on finishing up the floor a little bit today, but as you can see, the some of the plywood is down. We had some pretty bad storms last night, so real quick, uh, Dave and I cut the template on the plywood. I wanted to get that down in the van today so that I could get the dogs in the van to take them to camp so that so that they wouldn't screw up the uh, the foam strips that I have underneath. So I still need to put another layer of foam underneath the plywood, but today the plywood is just gonna sit on here so that I can have something to walk on as I'm working on another project. So the storms last night, luckily we had no leaks under that window, no leaks on the fan, no leaks on that window, no leaks on that fan and it was uh it was a pretty heavy downpour so we lost power for a couple hours there are a few tornado watches around uh there was a tornado warning just southwest of us that luckily didn't produce any damage uh and we escaped hail damage so we had no hail last night <clears throat> so today instead of working on cutting out the template for the foam of the floor because it's still still wet outside um, and I'm gonna use the driveway to trace my temp or cut from my templates of the uh, the foam. So instead, we're gonna be working inside the van until it dries out. So what we're doing today, what we're starting today, is insulation. Something I didn't explain yet was the kind of insulation we're using. So we're using 3M Thinsulate. Uh, once it expands, it'll be about an inch and a half deep. It's the, uh, the 600 model. So there's three different kinds of insulations that most people use when they're building a van. One is the Thinsulate. The second is a, uh, a wool product uh, by Havelock Wool. A lot of people really like that one. And then another one is spray foam insulation. We were considering doing that, but um, we decided not to because we wanted to do it ourselves. We didn't want to do spray foam and have to rely on the timeline of anybody else. And I was going to have to get a whole bunch of other stuff done. I was going to have to run all the conduit for electrical before we had that done. And so I wasn't quite ready to do that. So we decided to go with one of the methods to do it ourselves. So either Thinsulate or wool. And uh, really it came down to uh, the decision being what all the other professional van outfitters use and pretty much all of them use the Thinsulate. 
and it's super easy to install. You just spray some adhesive spray on the white side of the insulation and then on the van and it just it sticks right to it. So um, wool is fairly easy to install. You can just kind of stuff it in the crevices. So a lot of people do it that way, um, but it doesn't really secure to the van until you've put all of your wall paneling and your ceiling panels up. So a lot of people will use like hemp uh, like twine to keep it in place. I decided uh, with doing it ourselves, ease of installation, and all the professional van outfitters using Thinsulate, I figured it's good enough for me. So uh, we're about eh, maybe 20% of the way done with all the insulation. I have most of the ceiling done, just a couple more panels. And then I have all the, the walls and the, the bottom of the walls to do. And then I still need to stuff it over the uh, headliner at the front of the cab and then get it in the doors as well. I swear, the most structurally sound thing on this entire van was these stupid foam blocks above the cab headliner. Had to take these off so that I could more easily get some of the insulation back behind there. Man, that was a pain. installing the, uh, the little awning or at least getting the clips and uh, anchors attached at the at the right point so that way whenever I want to put this up I can provide some shade while I'm working on the van Got it up after a few minutes fiddling with it. Now that I know how it goes together, I can make it a lot faster next time. So, gonna put it away because uh, it's a little too windy right now. Back to insulation. I'm almost there. All the big chunks are in now, it's just kind of filling in some of the gaps. I'm not gonna fill in all of the little channels just yet because I think I want to leave some of those open in case I want to run any electrical through them um, so it'll be by the time I finish the installation today it'll basically be like 90 95 percent finished and that's on purpose so um, before I leave to pick up the dogs I might try to uh, actually no I'm just gonna finish the insulation I was gonna say I might try to trace out the uh, the template for the foam to lay underneath the plywood, but we'll do that later because I'm gonna have to put the plywood back in to get the dogs so, so they don't ruin the foam. Thanks for helping me make that decision. Insulation is basically done. I have a few more little spots to do, a few channels to do, but like I said, I'm gonna do that a little bit later uh, after I figured out that I know I'm not gonna be running electrical through some areas. So it's been a long day. It's, it's about time to go pick up the dog, so I'm not gonna start anything new. So, so this is what we've done today. Insulation, 
all up and down in several of the crevices and then got it in the back door the top part there top part there all up on the ceiling and all the way up through the rest of the van and I did stuff some above the headliner here that's a, a lot of sheet metal uh, where we could have some temperature fluctuations so I tried to insulate that best I could some people take the headliner off and I didn't want to go through that pain because uh, you can break snaps all the time so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do today I think So today we're going to be working on the floor a little bit and then I think I might start working on framing if I can get there. So I was sleeping on it last night. I was trying to figure out how do I want to secure the plywood floor down so that it doesn't move. Um, some people use self-tapping screws and go into the van floor. Uh, I was doing some, a little bit of research on that. and. I don't think I want to do that. I think it's just a bad idea. So I'm going to repurpose some of the cargo holders, the D-ring holders that came in the van. So these little guys, what I'm going to do is cut out where those tracings are. I took that, I got those from the, uh, the factory floor and the metal van. So I'm basically going to reuse these little plates to secure them down. It doesn't, I don't really need to use a ton of them. So it's really just to keep them in place and keep them from moving. So I don't really need to secure them down to the floor all that hard. Um, because a lot of that will be done by the weight of the cabinets and everything sitting on the floor. So this is really just to keep them from moving side to side. floor secured in most spots with these cargo attachments right there. There were a couple spots where I goofed up. Uh, there were two that we couldn't get the bolts out originally. The heads broke off. We tried uh, boring them out to get them out but could not reuse them and I forgot to not cut out the holes for that area. So I cut that one out not remembering that the bolt was still stuck in the threads. And then I did the same thing right here because I'm dumb. So other than that and other than the holes being cut just a bit too big there and there, which is not a big deal. It's still uh, putting some pressure down on uh, a portion of it. And this one has several anchor points anyway. So now I'm working on laying out some of these vinyl planks. Uh, I put them in piles so that each pile is the same pattern, uh, except for this one. This one is the one lone duct that just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't look like any of the rest. So, uh, other than that, put them all in like piles. Oops, got it hooked up. Uh oh. There we are. Um, got them all set up in like piles so that way 
when I'm laying them, I can rotate, I can alternate between each pile, so that way the same plank isn't right next to itself uh, by accident, because that can easily happen. Uh, pick that up from uh, other tips on, on YouTube channels. And I think early tomorrow, I can get started on getting the planks put in. I need to go through some mental math and mental exercises to uh, plan out exactly the best way to put those planks down because I need to do some uh, dimensioning based on uh, the length and the, the width of the planks and length and width, width of the van because I don't want real like slim or narrow slivers at any place. Don't want real short spots anywhere. So got to make sure that it works out well. I might call it a day and I think I'm gonna go inside and get the dogs to give, give them some attention and get them out for a walk because again it's been a few hours I've been out here so I've been kind of neglecting them so I'm sure they could use uh, use some attention I think I'm starting hello puppies hello Go run. Stretch. All right, it's time to start laying planks. Got the underlayment down, little vapor barrier. It's not the prettiest. I wasn't the most perfect because I don't really care that much about this layer. So uh, I'll try to make the vinyl planks look, look as good as possible. So we'll get cutting those. Sunday afternoon. I just finished up the floor. It's pretty much all done. Um, the only other thing that I think I may work on, not today, but sometime soon, is trimming up this little 
portion right here as you walk in the van. Make it a look nicer if you have this same material uh, facing right there. So I think I'm going to save a couple pieces to do that. Um, probably not today. I think I'm going to call it a day. So this week was bunk windows. Both of them are in and stood up to rain. And then I got the plywood floor down. I got the um, foam insulation underneath the floor down. Did the flooring treatment. And then also did all of the insulation too. So I'd say, I'd say that's a, a pretty decent week. It's huge. Hi guys. 